Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host Ben and it's time for another one of Ben's stock reviews. If you want a stock reviewed, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I'll do a review about it. If you have already left a stock in one of the past videos that I've done that you want reviewed and I haven't got to it yet, no worries, I will get there. I do have a bit of a list and I'm going to start powering through this list to get all these videos out. Now let's get into it. So this video today is going to be on the company NUGS. This is Cannabis Strategic Ventures and this was actually suggested by multiple people and that is Marcus Vasquez, Todd Marquis, and Steven Winkler. Thank you guys for the suggestion. This is pretty much the most requested stock that I've gotten so far. So I figured I better go ahead and get it out of the way. This is a cannabis stock. I'm not familiar with it, so this is going to be a new one to me, and we're going to check it out. So let's hop over into Yahoo Finance and see if there's any numbers on this, because I'm seeing on the chart here, it is an OTC stock. I'm guessing Yahoo Finance will not have very good numbers, and I'll have to dive into the website, but we'll get there. Negative 73%, 52-week change. That's not very good. Not available, not available. 268 million shares outstanding so this is probably a little bit lower of a float but it doesn't say the float so I'm not sure total cash only a thousand total debt 39,000 so yeah there's very few numbers few very few statistics on this stock so let's just go ahead and hop over to the website all right very nice looking website maybe they spent their whole thousand dollars that's on their balance sheet on their website because this is pretty impressive <laughs> it's not just cannabis it's cannabis strategic ventures so we are an organization that incubates develops and partners with category leaders within the cannabis sector and everybody's corporate vision is the same they want to be the best so here's the portfolio we got asher house wellness that's a brand. Bud Hire is a brand. Looks like that's probably Lixer, I'm guessing. News and press releases. Nine things weed smoking moms need you to know. Not sure what that really has to do with nugs, but okay. 20,000 cannabis plants at new six acre licensed site. First harvest expected this summer. So let's read this. Let's see what this is about. Let's see, when was this? Where's the date of this? That's 2019, so okay, that's kind of scary. So they've got press releases up here posted from 2019. It's currently, you know, almost into the summer 2020. So I'm not really liking that. Let's see, Bud Higher. So this is a professional employment organization and human resources consulting service. Okay. And that's about all the information we have there. Asher House Wellness Oil, an ingestible oil that contains a broad spectrum of premium hemp for pets. Okay. Interesting. We have some videos. We got a guy with some dogs. Oh, look at there. So it's a CBD product strictly for dogs. Looks like they're already selling. I'd be curious to see what their sales are. But that is interesting. And then Lixer, a line of luxury skincare products derived from CBD. And they've got a video on that. So really not too much information on their brands. I'm not seeing where they have their earnings or anything. There, there's no numbers, no statistics or anything that most companies would have so that's kind of scary because why are they hiding their numbers I'd like to see their balance sheet I'd like to see their earnings you know I like to see their profit margins their revenue all that different stuff and I don't see where I could find this at on this website and this is the first time I've ran into this with these video reviews so that's a little bit scary because why are they hiding this hmm if anybody happens uh, to have their numbers 
has any recent earnings reports or anything like that, please comment them below. And that way I can check them out and maybe have to do a recap follow-up to this video because without seeing these numbers, I really don't know anything about this company other than that it's a cannabis company. They have three brands in their portfolio, but I don't know how much money they're making, how much cost that they have in their products. I don't know how much debt they're in. I mean, the Yahoo Finance did show... You know, they got a thousand in cash and thirty nine K in debt, but I mean I don't that's not even good enough numbers to even talk about this stock with. So I don't know. Like I said, if you have the numbers, put them in the comments below. If not, I really don't know. But we'll look at the chart. I, I right now at this moment I don't really have a good idea about this stock. But here's the chart. Okay. So this is the daily chart and this is the max year. So this is going all the way back to December 18th and that's probably when they came out is what it looks like and they did get a nice run off the bat and a nice run all the way up until the end of 2018 and after that straight down straight down and nothing else let's see if this is a recent press release, so maybe I can maybe I can find their earnings and stuff in, in Thinkorswim. See, so they've got top line performance data for the month of June, over 1.3 million in sales, representing over 40% sequential monthly revenue growth. So they have a growing social media presence, which really doesn't mean anything. One of the largest publicly traded marijuana cultivators in the United States. Company is Los Angeles-based. Second best sales week in company's history. Cannabis sales surged during lockdown. Back in June, they had a record day of $400,000 in sales. So the company is on pace for over $2.7 million in quarterly sales and approximately $11 million in annualized sales. So this one says they doubled production capacity. They expect as much as 2,000 pounds of output over the 45 to 60 days so a lot of positivity let's see launching their own brand this was back in april okay let's see what their record results in 2019 so several accomplishments six acre farm greenhouse lease acquired annual can cannabis license secured funding for their farm project Cultivated and harvested first cannabis crop. Achieved new record revenue quarter. Okay. So a lot of good PR about this company. Here we go. So Q2 results. And that's got to be for 2019. Yeah. Solid eight quarterly revenue growth of 1,300%. To 707,000 compared to the same period last year. Cash and cash equivalents up 205% over the past six months. 228k. So they so the Yahoo numbers aren't even right. So because they're saying they've got 228k in cash and cash equivalents. Inventories up to 1.14 million. Total assets up 322% year over to 18 million. So Q2 represents breakthrough quarter revenue growth, projecting continued revenue growth, basically the same thing. So after looking at that PR, there's a lot of good PR, but even with the earnings that I found, which you know are last year's earnings, I really want to see an earnings report from this year to see what everything looks like. Because even, even that Q2 earnings on here was not a lot. Of information it was some it was all positive everything I'm seeing from their PR is positive but I just don't understand why if everything's so positive does this chart look like this it is interesting that volume has ramped up it looks like in the past year it's been getting millions of volume where the first two years it was really low in volume. 
So I don't see any common offerings or any really reason for the stock to have dropped so much. But it's very concerning that they have really good PR, but they've constantly dropped and dropped and dropped. Let's look at the year chart. Let's see it's a little closer. It's all the way down at two cents. Popped up to 20 cents. It does look like it's starting to consolidate upwards now after this last big drop. But I'm just really baffled on this stock. To me, I wouldn't want to touch this until I had more information. That's just me personally. If you've got those numbers, like I said, just post them in the comments. I'll check it out. Maybe I'll do an another update on this company when some more information comes out or maybe when they have earnings but right at this second i just can't really give any type of opinion on this the pr looks good the chart looks terrible and then we're missing a whole lot of statistics and earnings numbers and all that so it's not really something that i would want to invest in not having that information or even being able to find it easily because why would they be hiding it? Why is it not on their website? I don't know. Maybe maybe you guys can help me out on this one. Because like I said, I am stumped. So that's it for this video of Ben Stocks Reviews. Sorry I couldn't be any more help to you on this uh, stock for you guys who suggested it. But there's not really much else to say about it. So that's it. I'm your host, Ben. You've been watching Framework Fortune. If you want to see more content like this, click the next video right up here.